Hey guys, welcome to GCSEMathsGuide.com. Uh, I'm Mr. Tafodal, and today I'm going to take you through computing the square. Alright, so let's take a look at some examples. Right, now the reason why we compute the square, and we're going to see that in later videos, uh, is to help us to solve equations, quadratic equations mainly, and also to find the minimum or maximum point of a quadratic. Now, if you're not too sure what I'm talking about, don't worry, we'll uh, make another video later on, okay? So, uh, without delay, let's take a look at a couple of examples. The first example um, would be, let's say we had something like x squared plus, let's make that 8x. So I've got x squared plus 8x. Now, how do I compute the square? The first thing you need to do is open up a set of brackets, put a square and put a minus. Now once you've done that, then put a x inside the bracket. Now what I want you to do is just learn this, okay? For whenever you have a question on computing the square, always start by writing all this down. So a bracket, a squared, a minus and an x. Now the next thing you're going to do is take a look at the number which is next to the x. So in this case it's an 8 and I want you to divide that by 2. Alright, so 8 divided by 2 is 4. Alright, and finally, what you need to do is make sure that you write the same sign as what you have in, in front of that number. So in, in this case, it's going to be a plus 8. Uh, it's a plus, sorry. So I'll write a plus here. And finally, what you need to do is write a number after the minus. Now, to write that number, all you need to do is look at the 4, and you're going to square that number. 4 squared is equal to 16. 4 squared just in case you don't know means 4 times 4 and we know 4 times 4 is equal to 16 okay and there's my answer not too difficult now let's take a look at another one very quickly um, let's say we had x squared plus shall we say 20x so again set up the bracket the squared the minus and the x here and then divide the 20, forgot the x here, sorry, 20 by 2, which gives me 10. And then finally, square that number, it gives me 100, because 10 squared is the same thing as 10 times 10, which is the same thing as 100. And there's my answer. So, pretty straightforward. Now, let's take a look at two more examples with, uh, instead of having positive numbers, I'm going to have negative numbers, or negative terms, should I say. So, that's example number three and here what I want to do is do x squared minus 20x okay so you should have noticed that I've got minus instead of a plus now it's not going to make a huge difference uh, the only difference going to have is that the sign is going to be different so again set up the bracket the squared the minus the x here and here I'm going to do minus 20 divided by 2 so in this case it's going to become minus 10 and then finally to finish that off we're going to do minus 10 squared and I know minus 10 squared is the same thing as doing minus 10 times minus 10. And minus 10 times minus 10 is plus 100. I'm not going to put the plus here because we don't need it. Okay, a minus and a minus makes a plus. So therefore I'm going to come here and I'm going to write 100. And there's my answer. Okay, uh, I want to move on to harder quadratics. So... <clears throat> Let's see uh, a few more examples with um, harder questions. So, example four. Uh, shall we say we want x squared plus ten x plus five? Okay. Now I'd like to ask you a quick question. What do you think is the main difference between example number four and example number three? Can you think of the difference well an extra one that pretty simple we're gonna do exactly the same thing we're not gonna change anything at all so again we're gonna put a bracket we're gonna put a square we're gonna put a minus we're gonna put the X here and then I'm gonna take the plus 10 okay I'm gonna take the plus 10 here and I'm gonna divide that by 2 so that gives me plus 5 Next, I'm going to do 5 squared, and I know 5 squared means 5 times 5, which is 25. And then finally, 
I'm going to look at the last number that I had, the one we highlighted right at the beginning, the 5, and I'm going to bring it to the end here, and I'm going to add it, so plus 5. And to finish things off, we're going to tidy it up, and we're going to say that the final answer is x plus 5, sorry, squared, and minus 25 plus 5 is equal to minus 20. And there's my answer. Alright, let me write down a couple of a couple of questions for you to try out. Um, so let's say I wanted to... Oops, wrong page. Alright, let me write down a couple of questions for you. Alright, you try this out and you give me the answers in the comment box. Try x squared plus... 28x question 2 try x squared plus let's say 50x question 3 try x squared minus uh, 10x question 4 try x squared plus 10x plus 10 Question 5, try x squared plus, should we say, 4x minus 3. Question 6, try x squared minus 6x plus 10. Okay, try this out and uh, see if you can come up with the answer. And uh, what I want you to do is just write down the answer in the comment box. Okay, don't be shy. Uh, if you make any mistakes, then what I'll do is I'll just correct it and I'll uh, just give you some hints and the answer, obviously. Okay? So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, what I want you to do is um, if you watch my video on my blog or on YouTube, uh, don't forget to click the like button and uh, share it with your friends. So I hope to see you in another video and uh, see you soon. Take care. Bye.